Bad Boys 2, the 2003 action comedy spectacle directed by Michael Bay and actually produced by Jerry Buckheimer, reunites us with Miami's most dynamic duo. Will Smith as the ever suave, thrill-seeking detective Mike Lowry. I don't know why I always say it like that. Martin Lawrence as the hilarious, cautious family man detective Marcus Burnett. The movie kicks off with a bang, literally, as Mike and Marcus crash a KKK rally, undercover, of course. <laughs> It's the Negros. In true bad boys fashion, the operation goes sideways faster than a grease pig at a county fair, leading to a chaotic shootout. Marcus, always the worrier, frets about bullets and burns, while Mike, adrenaline junkie, seems to have missed the memo on self-preservation. <laughs> As if things couldn't get more intense, a flood of ecstasy pills hits the Miami streets, sending our heroes on a wild chase. Enter Johnny Tapia, a Cuban drug kingpin who makes Scarface look like a playground bully. In fact, I had a bully in like sixth grade or something. He's like six foot. I was like five foot. My parents said I won. I don't know where that goes, but anyways, back to the movie. The detectives soon realize they've bitten off more than they can chew. Amidst the chaos, we peek into the personal lives of our favorite detectives. Marcus is wrestling with domestic drama. His wife is about ready to wrap him up and bubble wrap and stick him into a desk job. Meanwhile, Mike is juggling high-speed chases, romantic escapades with Sid, Marcus's sister, yeah, played by the stunning Gabrielle Union. Their secret fling is a ticking time bomb, especially with Marcus's protective big brother instincts. It's Miss Denna. Change the station. More music, less Marcus. If you open the door, you'll be a black Dr. Phil for the next 40 minutes. The plot thickens with a discovery that Tapia is smuggling ecstasy in a way that would make a mortician blush through dead bodies. The revelation propels our heroes into the scenes and series of adrenaline pumping gravity defying action sequences. Throat and they just suck out all the gunk and bile. Because what happens is your body will get gaseous and you'll decompose and they don't want that shit to happen before your family see Like, I really don't need to know that right now. Now, the freeway chase scene is a standout for sure. Think of it as bumper cars on steroids with bullets. It's a symphony of destruction orchestrated by Michael Bay, complete with flying cars, slow motion explosions that would make a pyromaniac tear up. As the tension cranks up, Tapia ups the ante by kidnapping Sid. Our bad little boys assemble a rogue team for an unauthorized mission into Cuba. The climax of the Tour de France of cinematic mayhem guns blazing, vehicles flipping, and explosions aplenty. In the end, Mike and Marcus manage to rescue Sid and dismantle Tapia's operation with the kind of over-the-top heroics that you kind of see only in a movie. Amidst all the flying bullets and the collapsing buildings, our heroes reaffirm their bromance. Marcus decides he's not yet ready to swap gunfights for golf clubs. At least not yet much to Mike's relief. Bad Boys 2 isn't just a movie. It's a wild ride through a world where the laws of physics are mere suggestions, and every situation can be solved with a bit of humor and a lot of firepower. Will Smith's and Martin Lawrence's chemistry on this movie is the secret sauce. You all right? No, I'm not all right, Mike. Three days of this shit got my nerves all rattled blending the wisecracks and heartfelt moments. And let's face it, Michael Bay's directorial style is unmistakable. The film is a sensory overload of dynamic camera angles, rapid cuts, and enough pyrotechnics to rival military exercises in Cuba. If you didn't know, Russia's moving the ships into Cuba. That's just a little PSA there. There is a vibrant Miami backdrop that adds so much to the film's infectious energy with a sun-soaked bleaches and the neon nightlife. The soundtrack is a mix of hip hop and Latin beats, which keeps the adrenaline pumping. The film ranked in over 273 million worldwide, proving that sometimes all you need is a pair of wisecracking cops, a mountain of action, and a dash of heart. It, it really is a testament to the enduring appeal of the buddy cop genre. In front of my babies, you got porno and homo shows up in here? What kind of freak ass store is this? Mm. And you two motherfuckers need Jesus. So, Bad Boys 2. I'm going to give this movie an 8 out of 10. I think you should go watch a video I did about the first Bad Boys because it came out in 1995 and it's still pretty damn good because this one's over. Watch the movies that you are supposed to watch. Okay, bye.